but hey, you've probably seen them around if you've been around downtown Albuquerque. The murals around the metro area, they're enjoyed by viewers and artists who create them. And this morning we're talking all about them with Sherry Brueggemann, Public Art Program Manager for the City of Albuquerque. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for coming in this morning. I, you know, that was like one of the first things I noticed the first time I came to Albuquerque were some of the amazing murals that you see on the sides of buildings downtown and throughout the Albuquerque area. How many are there? How are they funded? Tell us, tell us about this. Well, the City of Albuquerque Public Art Program over the past 35 years has funded 29 murals. Wow. Um, we know that there's a lot more because citizens and private property owners do a lot of their own murals mm -hmm. and they put their own um, artwork on the side of their buildings or on community wall spaces. So we know that there's a lot more than 29. But Why does the city decide to get behind an effort like this? Well, public art. The city of Albuquerque has a law that says that we have public art in our community. Mm -hmm. And so murals are just one of the ways that we can fund public art. Okay, and how do you find the artists and how do you guys come up with the ideas? Tell us about this one that we're seeing right now or some of the ones that we're seeing right now. Well, a couple of the ones that are scrolling across the screen right now are recent works that were done as part of the Heart of the City project here in downtown Albuquerque. This one is at the South Broadway Cultural Center. Um, and it is actually one of the oldest murals that we've had in our collection, and it was just refurbished last spring. Oh, okay. So it's got a new, new vibrant colors and a little bit more of a um, different design that was originally on it. Is and there a particular theme with any of the murals, would you say? Well, I would say overall murals are about telling a very large community story. Individual works of art are kind of telling one person's story, which mm -hmm. is the artist's story. Murals talk about stories by the whole community. Exactly. Now, what about, you know, these are huge. This is a large scale art project, obviously. Is it just one person or does it take a lot of people? Most of the time, it takes a lot of people. When you're telling community stories, it takes a lot of wall space to tell a lot of different perspectives on a story. So, in Albuquerque, we have a very strong tradition of having a lead artist that then actually um, mentors younger artists okay. who want to learn the tradition. Themselves. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, do you, does a lead artist usually draw it out on, on like a piece of paper or, you know, on, on, you know, just a smaller version of it to kind of show like, okay, this is the big picture. Is that how it starts? Often. Or? Often it is done that way where the lead artist will kind of come up with a theme and maybe set up some compositional elements. Mm -hmm. And then the apprentice artist will incorporate their individual ideas into the different spaces. Is it tough for everyone to come together to keep it looking like it's all from the same person, from one person? Well, there's certainly a lot of negotiation when it comes to artistic expression. Individuals have their own ideas, but lead artists are usually really good at being able to moderate um, okay. all of those ideas. Oh, fantastic. Now, how can artists get involved uh, if there are some young artists around the metro area who want to get involved in perhaps taking part in making a mural? How, how could they get involved? Well, the first thing they can do is contact us at the City of Albuquerque Public Art Program, and they can do that by calling 768-3833 or our webpage, uh, cabq.gov slash public art. Um, but they can also contact some of the other arts organizations in the city that have supported them. 516 Arts, Working Classroom, Harwood Art Center, uh, Warehouse 508. We have great partnerships with those organizations and we're always happy to hear about new ideas. Is, are there any new projects coming up that you're aware There of? are actually a couple of projects that are coming up at the, a new one at the South, Val, uh, excuse me, the South Broadway Cultural Center. Our own um, amazing muralist, uh, Francis Rivera, is doing sort of a historical look at the rail yards area okay. and we're very excited about that piece coming online. All right, fantastic. And then of course we'll have more info for you on this. Just go to our website casa.com and click on the Casa blog. Thanks so much Sherry for coming in. Well, thanks for letting me come and talk about creativity, especially with all the other creative uh, segments you've had this morning. Yeah, let's keep this art going. I really do love seeing. I know many of us do love seeing the murals around town. Oh, thank you Beautiful so much. Stuff.